so I was very well known about like the arts, if you would say of being a Christian. So I dressed up as an angel during the Christmas plays. We talked about Jesus, you know, baby Jesus in the manger. And I did the twirling. I, I was on the worship team probably too early, like as a little kid. And I would get mad if I wasn't like the lead singer, but I didn't really know how to sing at that time. Um, but we were at church like every Sunday. We had Bible studies in the house, you know, so I knew all about Jesus, basically. And, um, but as I got older, um, I started to realize that my life wasn't as glamorous as I thought it was. Um, I started getting really rebellious. I started self-harming. Um, I was dealing with a lot of eating disorders. I was really angry. Um, I was always fighting, always getting suspended from school. And I would, you know, get into altercations with my dad a lot. Um, which I, it was so normal. I thought it was normal. I thought all families were like crazy like that. So one day I met this man and um, he, you know, kind of, I feel like kind of suckered me into being in a relationship. And then I thought I was being loved and then instantly it got ripped away from me. And I didn't understand because, you know, I didn't really get rejected like that. So I was like, oh no, you know, I want you to love me. I want you to stay with me, you know, and I was broke, I lost my job, um, I started losing my hair, I went back to an eating disorder, started cutting myself again, um, and I just had nothing. So um, I knew the Lord-ish, I kind of knew of Jesus, so I kind of went to church just to bargain with God, like I'd be like, Jesus, like I really want this guy back, I need you to make him love me, you know? And I would, I would have moments where I would open the Bible and it would, I would get scriptures like, uh, bad trees always bear will always bear bad fruit. Good trees bear good fruit. And I was like, no, nah, this isn't what I want. And I'll open the Bible again. And I'll be like, the path of the wicked is crooked. I'll never be straight. And I was like, nope, this isn't what I want. So um, um, I kind of got fed up with God. And I was like, and I got kicked out. So then I had to live with my ex. And he didn't want me there. And it just was a really dark space I was in. And I was like, well, God doesn't want to help me. My parents don't want to help me. And at this, at this time, my dad actually left my household. So I was just stuck. So um, I just remembered that this, I don't, I was really watching this anime and it was about this kid and he, you know, felt abandoned. So he tried to sell his soul to a demon. And this, the deal was the demon would come and, you know, fulfill all his requests. And at the end of the day, you know, he just gave his soul away, but he got to live the life he wanted. So that came back to me and I was like, okay, well, if God doesn't want to like give me what I want, then I'm, I'm gonna go to Satan and try and sell my soul. So this man will love me. And that's where I ended up. So I, I Googled, how do you make a contract with a demon? Like, how do you talk to Satan? And, um, and I was just starting having crazy dreams. Um, I started hearing voices. I started hearing my ex talk to me, but he wasn't there. And I was still smoking weed. I even like called my friend. I was like, I'm starting to hear stuff. I'm starting to see things. And even they were like, I think you need to like talk to a pastor or something. And the crazy thing is I was at church, but um, the church was kind of too big to have a personal relationship. I didn't feel like I could talk to pastors. Like you're just there, they would talk and then they would leave. And um, that was it. Other churches never did this to me. And I've been to church my whole life. Pastor Ishik, senior pastor, came up to me and she said, you belong here. And I never heard that before. And she's, you know, and she just said, you belong here and your family. And I was like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to keep coming here. And um, so then I just kept coming, but I was still kind of straddling the fence. <sighs> so I remember I went to church and this time I sat in the back and they were playing, they were worshiping all the songs that I remembered I would cry to God to. Like, I would be in my room closed. I would lock the door and I would just cry out to God to these songs. But I remember... I was on the floor crying, crying. Worship was over now. And I'm still crying. Like I'm still wailing. 
and pastor she comes up to me and she's so sweet she's praying in tongues she wraps her arms around me she's hugging me and we're rocking a bit and then she says do you want to you want to go to the bathroom and wash your face and I was like yeah I want to go wash my face I go to the bathroom with her to wash my face and instantly I think the first thing she says was you know I bind the spirit of self-hatred Instantly my body drops. I'm getting sick. And in my mind, I'm like, what's happening? Like I'm a Christian. Like I know Jesus. Like am I getting deliverance right now? And um from that moment like everything it just got crazy. And but it was like in that moment it was like I could hear God very clearly, you know, and I got delivered and he poured anointing oil on me. I would look beat up. I was low-key embarrassed, <laughs> I, um, but, you know, they walked me through, like, saying I'm a child of God, you know, accepting Jesus over again. So, um, yeah, and then from there, I just start growing in the Lord. I start having more intimate times, having more intimate encounters with God. I start learning my identity. Um, I started learning who I was, what I wanted, where I was going, and I learned love, real love, real motherly love real godly love like I didn't have shallow Jesus I got to meet the Jesus that gets in the dirt with you and cleans you up and fights for you and loves on you and you know and yes there were still times I fell but one thing that they never did was condemn me and I'm in a space now where I'm not really ashamed of you know how I got to where I was so I can tell people oh yeah I know I've done that it's not worth it, you know, Jesus is the only way. Oh, and I can have straight up conversations with witches now. I'm like, yeah, you think you have power, but you don't have power. There's a, God is the only one who has real power. And yeah, my life has just changed a lot. got value from this content and you want more just like and subscribe and we'll make sure we keep those videos coming to you remember dream it do it and i'll see you in the next video